All right, think about this concept. Those who achieve things by luck always live in fear of losing it. Now, just think about this, right? I'm gonna relate this to girls so that guys watching this can kind of understand. So imagine you're just an average guy and then one day a baddie comes in your way and she sticks it on you and she asks for your number and then you guys hook up and you get in a relationship, for example, right? At the back of your mind, you're thinking, I don't deserve this because it's happened by luck. And that whole relationship, that guy will be thinking, or oh, that it could be a short time, it could be like a day, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be a year, 10 years, who knows? But it comes to a point where it's just like, I shouldn't be in this situation because I've done nothing to get here. I feel lucky. But now his whole world is thinking like, I could lose this, I could go away and I wouldn't, like if I did lose this, I would have to find just that average girl again, for example, or below average girl again, which is what I was dealing with before, for example, right? However, if you're a bad man like me and you've learned the skills of how to bag baddies on a regular basis, <laughs> when I was single, of course, I'm married now, and out of the game, but when I was single, this was a skill that you could pick up on, you could learn, you could learn communication, body language, flirting, talking, texting, um, approach, cold approach, um, breaking the ice, etc. How to be witty, these are all things you can learn. So, if that were to happen, like, yeah, maybe one of the first ones, like the lucky ones, but then once I got really good, I wasn't relying on luck anymore. It was like I just know what to do in certain situations because I've done them hundreds of times and potentially even thousands of times and just through sheer exposure and experience to the situations i just know what to do and it's it's literally who i am now it's like my identity now it's like tied into who like like what makes me me basically because this i've done it so many times right so is i'm gonna make this a quick video but like if you feel like that first person could be you then all you need to do is up your skills in a certain area and then you can start bagging baddies on a red <laughs> you can start bagging baddies on a regular basis but until you get there you're always going to feel like luck it's always going to feel just out of your reach or if you do secure a baddie you're going to be like I don't deserve this. You're probably going to self-sabotage. You're going to fuck it up. And then you're going to be in fear of losing it the entire time anyway. And when you do lose it, which is probably inevitable, you won't know how to get it again. And then you'll be like stuck chasing the dragon and then you end up being a needy boyfriend or a needy ex-boyfriend. Like, please, can you come, uh, you know, come over tonight? Or could you um, text me back, please? Or like, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> What's interesting is like, share a personal story here. But like, I've been with my wife for uh, six years, coming up to seven years. We have a son, We've, we're married. Like I said, she's my wife. Before that we were dating for like four to five years and then we got married like a couple of years ago. So she's been off the market for almost seven years. The other day, a guy texted her from her past and was like, hey, uh, I was thinking about you or I miss you or something like that. Bruv, she's been off the market for six to seven years. That's mental. That's mental. And you're still thinking about her. That's crazy, isn't it? So it just goes to show like, if you don't have the skills to replace or like find more, then you losing a girl in your past, you're all, that's gonna eat at you for potentially six, seven years, probably longer. So. Don't be that guy, be better. Be able to, you have to have the skills so you can go out and get 10 baddies numbers and they all want you and you know what to do because you've been through it. You've learned the skills, you know, you've done it. You've experienced it, you've put your, you, you tested the skills as well. So they're like tough, they're like, they're like, um, they're like forged by trial and error rather than just like wishy-washy stuff, you've actually done this and it works, right? And unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you, it takes work, you just need to go out there, you need to do it like day in, day out for a certain period of time and then you'll get there. It's between like one and five years, I'd say.
but in the process it's pretty fun you get to speak to a lot of girls and stuff like that so that's quite fun that's in the girl aspect but in other aspects business etc different type of relationships this is all applicable but you just have to learn the skills for the specific thing that you're going for so i'm going to end it there anyway i hope that helps remember make yourself proud and i'll catch you in the next video